would be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Gotta make bed. I am so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks, Mom. Damn, no way, oh no. Got me messed up. Hey, honey, I hope you didn't forget to water the plant we gave you, but don't drown it either. Go oh, down. I better not leave without my shower supplies. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Uh oh. I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. All right, let's do it. Gordon, seriously, do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it, consider it done. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. Oh, bang. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, bang for God. <laughs> okay, what the? Immature assholes. Sorry, Max. I'm not feeling social right now. Hey, calm down, girl. Calm down. Okay. I didn't think Kate was like this. Hi, Dana. How are you? Much better than yesterday. I'm glad we talked. Me too. I know it's good to just talk about this stuff. You're almost psychic. I felt like you knew everything anyway. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Why not, right? We gonna get... Why the fuck? Dang. If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. All right. Who will survive and what will be left of them? Yeah, Don't she gained like an extra. Work. Four grand followers. That would be fun to put skulls and ghosts all over Blackwell. Like I could pull this look off. Holy Jesus. Hello, Victoria. All right. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Trevor is making himself comfortable. Ugh, hope they don't get busted. What's up, dog? Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? Why should I? Because it's fucking hilarious. Church girl gone wild. Kate's not like that, and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways, too. Mm. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? 
I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? No, not at all. He's my friend, not my mother. True. And Warren really loves to talk meteorology with me, since I'm one of the few who can talk back. Talk to you later, Max. Later. Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Go away! People's leaving! <laughs> Clearly not a morning person. Isn't Juliet? Why not? Oh, sh Wake up, Max. Juliet is next to me in the hall, <laughs> not her room. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Oh, hey. Hey, Rachel. Don't think I didn't forget about you. Hey, Kate. Oh, never mind. I did forget about you. I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I need no that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Mm -hmm. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. Yep. I'm good to flow. Thanks. Oh my god. What the? Alright. Everyone close their eyes. Close your eyes. Oh, what are effects are those? What's up, Kate? School. That's it. That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. Hang on. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. <sighs> is that the link to Kate's video? Damn, Victoria is so fucking mean. 
Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Hello? Water? Sorry. I forgot. Damn, that sucks. Alright, let's do it. No brook here. All right, let's go get chain. No book here. <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Warren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me. This is so insane, it sounds logical to me. Time, tra time travel is not just... Ooh, science fiction. Gosh, man. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Should I sign? And I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. Right. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. It would be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. All right, let's do it. All right, where's Kate's room? Oh, right now, keep your smart mouth shut about anything or I'm coming for you. Hmm? Oh, shit. Hell? Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here or I could be in serious danger. If I'm not already. Oh, hold on. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Matt. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful. And why did she cover up the mirror? If she can't look at herself? Kate really has a doting father. Light shines the darkness. The darkness come. Huh. I have yeah, no idea a lot of Kate ever hung out with Alyssa okay. and Stella. Left out damnation. No spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you have gone, you have done in that videotape. Damn. 
Good lord. Damn. This must be Kate's HR Geiger period. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Um, hey Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. What about this video? And I swear I haven't watched it. I can't even watch it, Max. Should I watch it? Just for posterity? Are you kidding? You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this <laughs> sucks, Kate, Bad. but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. And then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. Mm. I take a sip at church and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Oh, then damn. Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And what? And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Uh -huh, you know. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Uh, sure. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Hmm. Mm. I look for proof. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Well.
Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Yep. I'm sticking with it. Let's go to breakfast. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. <laughs> oh, geez. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. Hmm. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. Okay. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. <laughs> what? What does that mean? Taylor, what's up, Hi, girl? Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. Damn. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. All right. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. Damn. We've had our talk. All right.
It's so sad that nobody will read them. Sure, I'm not reading them. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. Hmm. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. Damn. They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. They just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Hey, yep. Yeah, right, let's do it. Your newspaper? Nope. Smell of breakfast and no, oh, that brings back memories. Chloe and I loved the parade. Let's get up a chair. Good lord, talk about apocalyptic. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Yeah, what is your problem? Hello there to you! Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a <laughs> yeah. sweet day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, <laughs> damn. That's the attitude I need. This guy has serious corners. Man, yeah, what the hell? Eight. What the hell? Flush before pissing on that the graffiti floor. has been here forever. Rachel A. Gross. Rachel A. owes me. So does your mom. Thank you, redneck poet. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Yeah, yeah. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now, that is a real problem at the uh, two wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? Oh. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our, our mother. Mm. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? He kind of has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. <laughs> so, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard she even just got busted with pot in her room. That's not good. Anyway, hmm, that bacon sure smells good. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. Then you know she's a handful. Yeah, for sure. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. 
I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joy so much stress. I have to go now. Damn, Enjoy your what's here, problem? By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Alright. Trevor, what hey, up? Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. Later. All right, my booth. Lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. <laughs> no, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man. He just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married bitch. him, but... Oh, damn. Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel... Bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Yeah, for sure. Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? Well, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful, and he will be punished. Right, but right, Chloe right, right. does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It doesn't give him an excuse. That's no excuse to hit a girl. He's an adult. I don't like it either, Max. David swore it would never happen again. He's true to his word. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess, I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Bacon omelet, Belgian waffles for sure. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Damn. Five bucks for old style eggs and bacon. Six twenty five for apple sausage omelet. Three dollars for Bigfoot bacon. Oh my god. One Belgian waffle. Nerd graffiti. Warren, I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. Yeah, girl, you ain't gonna put cream or sugar? 
This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. Hey. <laughs> no beer? <laughs> looks like the lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. Oh. Here, here, you'll love, you'll this. love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, oh. mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat to you for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Oh, God, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. What the hell? You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Sure. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Gosh. Oh, you definitely got keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. You got a skull? A skull keychain for a punk like you. That was so wrong. Never Max. mind. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pocket. All right, hit me. That was beyond epic fail. Hey, right, six. I really believe you. Hey. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget. A keychain with a bear on it. Some cigarettes. Uh, 25, 50, 75, 80. One, two, three, four, five, six. 86 cents. All right, 86 cents. A bear with a keychain, cigarettes, and a ticket. So this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max, I'm hella ready. All right, here we go. Cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? What the? Oh, definitely seven. Seven cigarettes. The superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Easy. Keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. A panda keychain. A cute on. robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. See, 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 you see. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Well, yeah, you definitely got money. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. Damn. Parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? Gosh. You seem like a, a 10.34 a.m. 10.34 a.m. 
Booyah, Max can tell time. Boom! Yes, sir. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. I can't believe I got the seven cigs right. Oh my god. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops! Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh! And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick! Don't slap me, bitch! Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. All right. I'm going to predict four events that oh, will sh happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Uh, Trevor drops his glass. Trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and he quickly exits the diner. Well, let's just it. see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor fight, and Joyce beats them. Yes, you still need to tell me one more event, Max. Really? Oops. Dude, Did you, you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I dick. think not, Don't slap Max. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. You are really whiffing this. The chick goes to the bathroom. Right? Oh. This is sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? All right. This is where I start to fail. All right. I'm going to predict. All right. Tru uh, trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his. So what? Um. Uh, alert! Come and he leaves. No. Uh, and he answers. His partner leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this. And then. Joyce stops them. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. And then Jubai goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. What? The jukebox goes crazy as a fly lands on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. I don't know about this one. The, the jukebox one. Oops. Dude, Did you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. Holy no, dick, I am right. Hey, where is my partner? You're a oh, dick. So cool. Bitch. 
take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Holy dick, who would have guessed it? This is a sad day in Maxville. This is sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for... Okay, so I not... <clears throat> Damn. So there's a cockroach. God damn it, I put a fly. All right, all right. easy, I'm boys. going to predict. All right, trucker drops his mug. So... And his partner leaves. The cop gets an emergency. Well, we really stops them. Justin and Trevor are fighting. This is getting good. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, where really? Go, Mom? No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. Easy. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. Easy. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened. Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Yeah, hey, sure. Are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. All right, let's do it. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. I'm gonna answer. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. Yeah, come on. <sighs> Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. Mm -hmm. What's this guy's problem? Times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also super sized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. 
Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Sure. Drink? Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? Sure. Nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn. So disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. I bet I could get on the boat from a higher location. Hmm. Huh. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just goth? <laughs> nope, I don't want to go there. It's, oh, what the hell? Thanks for the tip. Oh. Hey, oh, bottle. Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. And another bottle. Boom. Only three bottles left. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. We're going to eight. Newburgh is 60 miles, so we should leave around five. I drive. Hell yeah, we will. In your new ride, we have to get supplies for the drive in. Maybe you can. Maybe we can have dinner first. Or whatever. Oh, apes. Wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. That dough is the perfect photo op. It's gone. It's, there's nothing. What the? Hmm. I don't want to look at that. That's like collectibles or whatever. I don't want nothing like crazy. This was an old school punk shirt. I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. Oh, poor thing. They left you here all alone. No, I'm good. Nope, I don't want to go there. Hell yeah.
Oh, fool. The Bigfoots were here. Oh. Easy Way clap. heavier than I thought. Ugh. Three down, two more to go. Talk about finding a bottle in a haystack. Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. She's a steampunk. It actually feels like Chloe and her kids again are hiding out and plotting our future. Despite all the chaos and bullshit, I feel so giddy hanging out with her again. So happy. Like we've both gone back in time. Hmm. We gotta check that uh, little off or little room right over here. That's definitely gonna have a plank. This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. That kind of hurts. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. I doubt it. One more bottle to go. Ouch. Mike, sorry to have, sorry to, sorry to have bothered you by asking for advice. I guess I shouldn't do anything but let people enjoy my video all over the world. It's too late, I guess, but thank you for answering my call this morning. I really need a friend and you deliver it. Stop. <laughs> Girl, stop. I want to die. Oh. Jeez. Who wrote this? So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. Hey, where's the next bottle? I was just thinking there might not be nothing, but I didn't find another bottle, so. Voila, now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. Those shells look fresh. Gosh. Uh, Thanks, Max. Wait, one more for the road. You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Oh, great. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first.
Alright. Show me the way, Max. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking I've cool. seen it twice. Now for the second bottle. But you missed the first time. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Blow up. Now, Max, where do I aim? Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Give me something to shoot, Max. I'll tell you one thing, you shouldn't shoot metal. I bet you want to blow apart those old computer monitors. Let's reboot them with a bullet. Old school. Okay, okay. Lame. Give me something to shoot, Max. That looks like. Aim at that old blue plank here. I hate old planks. <laughs> Give me something to shoot, Max. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? <laughs> Hella yes! Nice shooting, Tech. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never. So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Dude, I need a target before I shoot. How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. I was gangster. Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! No, I don't. Wakey, wakey. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. This girl, if she shoots straight up, there's gonna be a problem. Okay, looks like you're ready to lock and load. Yeah, sure. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo, Max is afraid. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Yeah, be proud, sure. Sister. Oh, sh Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. 
You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before Time we to pop them. We pop it. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. No second guesses. Oh. That is hilarious. Oh, man. Well. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time. Brainiacs. Sorry. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Yeah, you know the vibe. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Man, screw Jesus, Frank. I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Alright, you know what? We'll punk out. We won't shoot. You know why? Because we're good people. You know what I mean? We're good people. Alright, come on. Got her. Are you ready to do this? We should jet. We before. have plenty of time to do anything we want whenever we want. Make me proud, sister. All right, we won't shoot. Come on, girly. Shoot me. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. You really stood your ground. I freaked. Man, she really... I don't like guns. No. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. Nah, you're big balls. there are more big guns balls. out there. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least mm. Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Oh, man. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. Hmm. Now, we big thugging out here. We thugs. We going. We shooting. He come with the, he come, he come with the smoke. He ain't gonna do nothing about it. I'm that confident. Oh damn! All right, come on. Big. Shoot him! Bam! All right, I like the choice. All right, where is this chick? Wowzer, why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? I don't want to go that way. Where the hell are we going? So sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. Prison? I don't know. Oh yeah, there's a lot break in here. Oh. I don't want to go that way. Oh, there she is. 
Alright. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a time out from here. Hey, right, let's do it. I still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. It felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right at Frank's ass. You have the power! You're gross. Don't fall. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take why? a break and I'll talk. Why sit on the train tracks? Oh, you guys just... Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? Seriously, Chloe, this is scary. What if Frank tries to track us down? I'm sorry, but Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. I know I could rewind, but Chloe, this is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers. Obviously don't get my pot from you, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? You don't mean you... Ah, oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I think we Who have knows? to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Uh, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Why? I bet she would hate me. You're not that different. She had, has a great eye for images and for art. Oh, uh -huh, she? Plus, she's a smartass like you. Hmm. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the bead poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. Ah! Okay. Oh, Max! Help! Ah, God damn. On, Why are you yelling? Jesus Christ. Oh, oh shh. Uh oh. The train. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Come on. I don't want to die here. Oh, damn. Switch it. Oh, well. You dead, girl. Can't even move it an inch. Oh, sh awesome. It's not locked. Oh, what the? Come on, Max. I better find the tool to cut those wires. Oh, sh I'm running. Cut. I'm running. Rat. Rat trail. Please get me out of Probar. here. Crowbar. I don't know why I need this, but I'm taking it. I can definitely use this bad boy. What's in here? Oh, my goodness. My chick's gonna die. Oh sh shit! I oh, can't what the it at all. You gotta use the. Oh my goodness. Score. Okay, girl. Max, 
Oh, there's an axe. Oh, okay, uh, what can I slice with this? Oh, oh, now I can pull it. Oh, oh no, I hear the trade. Go oh, where we can rewind time. We can rewind. Jeez. I right, rewind all the way back. This is an easy class, easy class, mate. But which wire to cut? Yeah, it's for sure the yellow one. Whoa, short circuit city. But which wire to cut? The red wire. Now that's the right table. Absolutely. Oh, yes, I did it. Oh, man. She would have been potato you soup. Okay. You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Damn. That was close. Yeah, no crap. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? Yeah, sure. It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Oh. Nice. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Mm. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Yeah, for sure. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? What? Uh, it means shit happens, right? No, crazy shit happens. Because it can. And will. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar. Like he Ooh, said, Professor know. Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Sure. What's up, Perk? So Sir? Hi. Uh, hello, Max. Like would, would you like to tell me what you would yesterday? There was just a lot going on with the fire alarm and everything. Yes, but you were distracted by something else. The fire alarm? I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Mm. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. Mr. Madsen already treats everybody here like they're under surveillance. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. You won't tell me the truth about yesterday, but you want to tell me the truth about Mr. Madsen. It sounds more like sour grapes. 
Excuse me now. What is your damn problem? Push. These elite assholes throw a lot of big parties. Another chance for Nathan Prescott to dose somebody. No, was so insane. Seriously. Hello, climate change. Join us or die. I'm down. Let's do it. Let's go to a party. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I do. What do you mean? I'm not anti <laughs> you seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. No, what is your problem? Hey, Courtney. Really? Oh. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. Bye. What up? Trevor surveys his domain. This guy. We'll speak to him. Hi, buddy. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? Uh, I'm sure. You hit Chloe. I'm sure she told you why. Did she mention she probably stole one of my guns? You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. Mm. What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. I feel you, bud. Lay it up. Sit down. In silence. Oh, no. oh, I still have it. time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. That reminds me. I have to score some weed from Nathan. This is Grant. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Oh, great. It's too bad you didn't sign the petition. Every signature counts, and yours might be the one that decided. How is your campaign going? It's missing somebody who should care. But no finger pointing in, Max. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. More but... people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. Some of You're us want to use our cameras girl, girl. for good. But people like David Madsen want to use them to spy. Jeez, I'm not like him, Miss Grant. <sighs> I know, Max. But the trick is to make sure Blackwell Academy does not end up like him. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must know Mr. Jefferson pretty well by now. I certainly know him as a talented artist and terrific teacher. I've been here a little longer, but he's made a bigger mark. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. 
Alright, alright. Later, loser. <laughs> eh, she's cool. I, d I just don't agree with the whole... The whole I security if I touch the camera. Glass, all these creepy sea critters will pop up. I just, I don't know. I don't agree with half of that. Or nothing will happen at all. Think, big brain. Think. Brooke, Hi, what's Hi, up? Max. Making your daily rounds? Hmm. Somewhat. How is your drone? This can't Miss be that Grant hard. busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit you, but Wait a minute. don't let me get in your way. So long. Bring me the brain, Igor. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking oh me for help means you're screwed. Have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Uh, sure. You know what I mean? Sodium, potassium, same thing, just a different name. You know what I mean? So we're definitely going to go I'm with the potassium. I'm not sure why you let me decide your fate, but go potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works... You get a free hug. I'm down. Let's do it. Potassium always does something. Boom. Weird science. All right. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, damn. Well. All right. We're doing sodium. <laughs> hey, Warren. Max. God damn. Asking. Lots of potassium. I Come actually on. think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. It's going to blow up this whole goddamn school. Damn. She blinded me with science. Hey, Warren. <laughs> Ask... I have a vision. Go diem. Go diem? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Damn. Zip. Nothing. Nada. All right. Just lots of success. Yeah. Hey, Warren. <laughs> I actually She blinded me with science Yes, that was a blast But let's keep it a professional secret Cool That's for sure For snizzle my nizzle Yes, that oh. was a blast But let's keep it a professional secret Cool. Alright. Later, Max. Or Warden. Or whatever the f your name is. God, it's all over. So you can't help me? I'm trying. But you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. Wait. Can I talk to you? Just hey. leave me alone. Alright, never mind. Yo, Max was smart. Talk later, cool? Alright, later, loser. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Well, I was sure. trying to talk to you. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. Yeah, 
Bah, I show. stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Everybody knows, come on. Everybody knows. That's why I wanted to see you. Kate is being humiliated daily. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Mm, yeah. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Rachel was nothing like Kate. <laughs> Principal Wells said you had something on your mind you wouldn't all tell right. him. Takes. You care to share? Damn. Uh... Oh. Should I tell him? <sighs> no, I'm not gonna tell him. No. Not right now. I'll tell you everything as soon as I figure it out. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I? Excuse me, Max. Hello. Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Yeah, I don't... Oh, what the hell? Ours is also... What the... Make me beautiful, Hayden. Boom. Boom. Well, what's up, guy? Daniel? Dana. Waiting to draw you Dana after Hayden gets his Turn paparazzi left. on. Then right. Show me the love. How do I love Taylor? <laughs> you what? God damn it. I'm kind of doing something now, Max. Man, screw up. Screw you. Hey. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. Let me take a photo of you real quick. Thank you. Do you think Max will be pissed for saying? What up? Here comes the mysterious Max, disguised as a pixie hipster. Like all the other precious twee artists here. You really nailed me. Meow. Bring out the claws. I love seeing chicks fight. Right. Can I sit at my table now? Max thought we were going to be buds. Fucking ha ha. <laughs> what type of laugh is that? Yo, a full show. Okay, why is David what taking the... photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Boys chilling, chilling in class like the use. Who the f are you? Oh, what up, my dude? What up, Max? Hey, Warren. The man all dirty. I saw Kate earlier, and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate yeah. has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll we see have you a later. lot to cover today. Yes, sir. And so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> it's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, no smartphones in class, Matt. 
God damn it. Put that away. <laughs> People. I ain't gonna get goddamn caught. You got me you messed up. Usually. People need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying Kiro Skiro. Yeah, sure. With that beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. I guess Kate will miss class now. Yin and Yang, black and white. I'm worried about her. Precisely because of sense. their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my... Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Dismissed. What? What the hell is going down? See that? Is this for real? What is it? It flipped out. I didn't think she was that messed up. What? What's going on? Oh no. Oh man, is it Superman? Kate! Oh no! No! Oh god. No, what the fuck are you doing? Oh! She can't die. She can't. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. What the? Not again. Come on. Not now. Oh my. Oh my. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. What the? She really gonna end up dying? Bro, what the? F Keep <sighs> going, Max. You can do it. Well, damn. Look at this. You see this? Expert. Bro, she jumped. doing here max stop don't come near me not now it won't work i don't have any power now i have to do this by myself max seriously don't come near me i will jump okay okay i'm right here kate please oh max i know you want to help me i love that you stepped up to david but it doesn't matter now nothing matters Damn, you matter not just to me. Don't what worry, the... Kate. Things will get better. I promise. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. Like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Yes. I'll always be here for you, Kate. My new motto is, friends come first. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Yes, Kate, please I'm here. Trust me. I'm a good come guy. Come stand by me, okay? 
I can help you now. Don't push me. I know me. I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. What? You gotta gather proof. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon. Then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Yes, now come down, please. Have each other's backs. So I want you to come with me now. Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Oh, no. Please. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Oh, sh <laughs> your sisters. I saw that cute photo of it, you. With yeah, your in the room I got me. it. Easy. I can see how much your little sister loves you by her smile. That's Lynn. She's only 10. She does have the best smile ever. Yeah, she I does. I would hate to see her sad. Come on. Look at me. I'm sorry. That's what I'm talking about. I'm sorry. You're okay, baby what girl. What are you talking about? I do you think. You saved me from talking in class. I do things. I do things like that. 110%. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. But I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. What the f- Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. That's right. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah. Real hero. What the hell is As your problem? As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. Clearly. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. David Bullitt or Jefferson? I think Nathan dosed her, right? But there's no evidence. I think David's a good guy. He's just strict. Like a crazy. Jefferson? I don't know. I feel like he's evil. To me, he feels like he's... I don't know. He's a little evil. 
All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're playing a liar. the field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Wait, Max. You told me that nothing happened yesterday. Are you just making things up? How can I trust you? I... I was afraid yesterday, but I have to tell the truth. I do understand that. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me. Oh, but man. I think I can use my power again. I feel like it's just not gonna do nothing. It's just gonna make it worse. That's how I feel. I, uh, for sure, things are gonna be worse. That, I mean, David's a nice guy, but like, damn, dude, like. I saw Mr. Jefferson talking to Kate right before our class. Then she ran off crying. Mark, I do know that Miss Marsh has assisted you on class events. Kate, Miss Marsh has been very withdrawn lately. I assume this awful video was the cause. I hated seeing the students laugh at her. She told me Max was the only one who believed her, would take her calls and actually listen to her. She shouldn't have asked to be on video macking with some dudes. You ass! She didn't ask for any of this. No, on the contrary. Max was right to bring this up. Now, I wanted to help, but I guess I was too late. Well, now this is problematic. The publicity is rising, and perhaps you shouldn't represent Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest in San Francisco. Oh, Are you serious? That's a little too much. I am. We don't need any negative press about that event. And we need to involve the Academy in possible disciplinarian measures for you. I understand. There are bigger things at stake than me. The life of a young girl, for one. Maybe you should investigate other staff members. Max told me she knew things about Mr. Madsen. Let Max speak for herself. Everything we talked about here will be looked into. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm. Damn. But do I? Oh, man, I don't know. Man, do I really, do I really want to? What the hell? Mr. Madsen was bullying Kate. Oh, grow Excuse up. Excuse me, I was there. I saw you getting in her face. You have no idea what you saw. Kate Marsh was involved with a bad crowd. I was trying to find out who. Kate had a double life. I was super shocked when I found out. No, you were part of the crowd. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little. Shh. Are you gonna take this troublemaker's word over your security officer? And he should take the word of somebody who harasses students? Max, I'm afraid this won't be solved here without proof and a thorough investigation. Now, uh, if you have anything else to say. 
Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we group. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm. Man, what the f You know what, screw it, we're going to Nathan. I doubt. Damn. I doubt anything will happen. To be honest. But who knows? What those? Yeah, I doubt anything will happen. But we'll see. Alright. Oh my god. I can't. What the? Alright, which is gonna blame it on Nathan? Alright. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like everyone's in it. I don't know. Who knows? I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen, ever. You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me, I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm so worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. <laughs> All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. Now, I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday and Madsen is a straight up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know, I would. I believe you, Warren. I believe Warren. anything this week. I don't know. I don't think the security is definitely weird, but. I think he's a good guy. He's just insanely strict. Nathan's definitely like, I don't know. I mean, it's, what the hell?
Who the hell is? Damn. Episode two, ladies and gentlemen. That's out of the way. Well, I think it's five episodes. Episodes in total. And then... And then there's part two. Uh, all right, let's see. He told Kate to wait for more proof. 66%. Yeah, that's probably the best call. You answer Kate's call. 81%. Yes, thank you. 19%. Oh, my. Uh, you try to shoot Frank 50. Oh, this is pretty split. 63% saved Kate's life. Damn, 37. You are douchebags. You blame David. David and Jefferson. What? Blame Nathan. Seventy one percent blame Nathan. Yeah, I You water the plant, seventy one percent. You didn't help. What the hell? You erased ninety four six percent didn't Jesus, you guys are douches. You weren't friendly with Taylor ah, screw her. You accepted warnings, yeah, I'm down. You didn't write a message. You told on Mr. Jefferson. Hmm. You didn't help Warren? What? That makes no sense. You gain an entry. Yeah, that's split pretty much, Jesus. Oh, uh, you didn't tamper with a railway. You tampered with what the hell? Let's now three episodes. How many episodes? Five? Jeez, that's gonna be sick. But uh I hope you enjoyed. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Life is Strange. Episode two. Next episode is going to be episode three, then four, then five. And then we're going to play the second Life is Strange. And I think that has five episodes, too. So, uh, yeah, I hope. Thank you all for sitting with me. The two hours or an hour and a half. I don't even know. To be honest, it's probably like around two hours. But thank you very much for sitting with me and enjoying watching me become clutch diggity. But, uh, yeah. But, uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Deuces. Is it